turn down your country music, mate. Take this... the boy out of Arkansas, but you can't take the Arkansas out of the boy. Sorry, mate. I know you bang into your country and western. Just want to wait to round one. Both team off at 8.10 today. Um, I'm off one, you're off 10. And uh, it's currently 6.49, going to get there, have a bit of breakfast and um, go out there and get ready. So, looking forward to today. I like this place, mate. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's a good track. Good track. The wind's meant to stay down today. So is it? Yeah, I think it's at the highest, like 11, so. It's going to be a calm one. Almost no wind and then we're going to get fresh greens. So. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be nice out there. What a bloody ripper of a morning, that. Oh. Beautiful. Kind of stew crock. Ultimate spinner. Oof. Not bad. I should teach him how to play the well, how to chip around here. Basically, I mean, what'd you do? Just gotta use a bunch of bounce because then the more down you hit on it, then you can just spin it. But show us um, the breakdown. I mean, there's just so many, it's just all set up. Yeah, if you set it up good, I, I always set it up really open just so if I do shut it down, there's still a lot of bounce. I mean, that uh, thing is like ridiculous. I gotta open that thing inside. Yeah. It looks so easy. Because I keep, li like, I find I'll chip around the green and every now and again it will just go bump and then yeah. I'm it's stuck. Any of the, you want none of this. Yeah. None of this leading edge. It's like you it's, want to use all the bounce. When I'm feeling open, it's just, it's still not anywhere near as open as yeah, it needs so to be. Like, I'm laying it wide open, but my tendency is to strengthen it. So it's way open, but by impact, I'm probably there. Yeah. And because I'm also throwing it at it, we're getting rid of like a lot of shaft lean. Yeah. So the shaft's going to be pretty vertical at the bottom. So I'm, I'm bouncing it with the back of the club and not the leading edge. Mm -hmm. And that's why it'll just and come And there's up. a lot of margin for error then, right? Yeah, it just comes out nice and... Oh, that's so nice. Like oh. You don't have to swing it as much, like once you've got the feeling of the low point. Another thing for me is I just stay really wide. Yeah. I mean, because if you're really wide, the low point's going to be in the same spot. Look at that. It's in. Right, let me just try this. You know that hold yeah, the cash? Sure. It's pointing it at me. Because today I hit a few chips. And I'll go over this in a minute when we do the round recap. But like, uh, I hit a few chips around the greens and I literally just went. But like, it was that grass was a bit sticky. Yeah, it just yeah. Just got, like, got completely stuck. But it's it defies logic because when you do on on that sticky stuff, you want to go ball first. Mm -hmm. And by going ball first, you like not using any bounce. You yep. almost got to feel like you're hitting a wide hook. Yeah. But you're on the sticky, grainy stuff, so you yep. your body doesn't want to do it. So it's got to be like that far. Open. Just got to be open, That's and then. So Yeah, not too bad. You could probably get a bit uh, like closer to the ball and upright. Closer and upright. Yeah. Try get a bit wider. A bit Feel wider. A bit wider, yeah. Just hold it. Yeah, because when you get steep, you're gonna it's gonna force you to go straight left. So a bit wider, same feel. There we go. That's better. Just and now you can swing down. You can swing down the line a lot easier from being there. Yeah. Not in well, there. It's like the club stuff, isn't it? Like my tendency is to get Same in. thing, yeah, yeah. Right, let's try. Wide. Oh, that's it. Isn't it? There we go. I A lot longer and slower long, on it. Slow, really open face. Yeah. And that was like not the best of strike you were. No, exactly. Well. Right, so like this is the stuff I struggle to say massively. So it's a bit uphill, and watch what happens to this club. Watch that contact. That's with leading edge, so it just goes boop. 
pop, and then if you go in there with leading edge, it just kills it. Especially on an upslope, it's like, what do I do? Do I like try and shallow it up the hill? Like, what's the, the feel? problem? Is it, like, it defies logic. You want to go ball first and do this. Yeah. Because you and want to catch ball first, but you almost have to do the opposite. And then when you do actually catch it ball first, it just comes up really fiery. It comes up just so low. It will have spin, but it's just so low that it won't check. There's no control. But I mean, what I do is I always just lift the handle a little bit just uh -huh. to get the um, this edge out the way. And so handle up really open. Yeah, and then really open and just. Oh, so nipped. Look at the Zimbabwe Angola. <laughs> Let's have a look down but the line. But I also, I also struggle a bit with upslopes sometimes, just because I like to get. To yeah, that free lesson that for you, Lion. Free lesson. Yeah, I mean, I'd say that any day. I, mean, I, made, I made double twice today, where I could have just like got it on the green, yeah. but couldn't because I'm struggling so much with this grass. But it just defies logic because you want to cover it. Yep. And you just got to tell yourself no. Yeah, that's so neat. Right, let's try that. That's the one. Yeah. So you think you can do this on English grass as well? Because I see anything, because it sits a bit lower in the grass in England and there's a bit more, it's a bit I firmer just underneath. I've played enough in England, but I've played enough in the US and everything where, I mean, in the US that was my problem because when you get Bermuda into the grain, like if you can chip in Florida, you can chip anywhere. Yeah. If you get Bermuda into the grain, it's even worse in this cuckoo. Because the Saffers usually don't worry too much about the grass in England, do they? Cause... No, because, I mean, in England you can get away with less bounce. I, I haven't played You can get away much, with less bounce, for sure. I feel like less bounce you can get away, and that's yeah. why you guys struggle when you come here. Yeah, 100%, because like we're square face. Guys, and... they come here and they hate the cuckoo. It's because they don't have to like open it up like this and use bounce as much. That's nice. Look at these houses. Molly, where are you going? 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 Just to go over round one from Ibotsi Links. So this is the Bushveld Tour, Tour Champs, Ibotsi Links. Really good golf course, really enjoy this golf course. The scoring this week's not gonna be silly low. It's like a, just a proper course that you need to play well. Um, can't be smashing driver everywhere. Sort of like inland links, if you saw from the, uh, the video I did yesterday in the practice round. Um, it's pretty tight, quite a bit of water as well. So a lot of tee shots where it's like really demanding. And yeah, I absolutely love this place. Really, really enjoyed it today. Well, I say I really enjoyed it, I really, really enjoyed the golf course. I'm still struggling to have sort of like rounds that are uneventful in a good way because my short game is still a weakness. Just got to, it's just got to get to a decent standard. I want to get to a standard where it's like, it could even be like a strength in the game. There's no reason why not. It's just a bit of technique and then just repetition. Getting into today's round, start off with two birdies and then had quite a lot of birdie parts leading up to hole six or seven made drop and then hole nine had 140 meters as a straight conversion to yards because of the altitude here at Joburg so whenever I say meters just imagine it's yards 140 meters into nine back pin slightly downwind in between gap and wedge hit a little wedge slight pull landed it on the green popped over into some like long foot long rough you can't Guess at it unless you, you just basically got to play bunker shot, hit it as hard as you can, ended up getting it onto the green, three putts, six. At that point, was leading the tournament, make double, one over. And then that's sort of the story for the round. I made six birdies, three doubles, and a few bogeys for three over. This week, three over is not like a massive disappointment. This week, level par is. A fairly good round of golf around this place because it's very demanding cut through two rounds is probably going to be about six seven over it's just gotta get the short game in a good spot because it's killing me right now the long game's feeling good making lots of birdies get rid of the shit and then we'll be in a good spot so yeah there'll be some good reports tomorrow just keep your eyes peeled tomorrow night we're going low we're going low right